this is part one of turning my tiny room into my dream Pinterest room, but on a budget. I started out by setting up this bed frame, which is from Wayfair. It's pretty high up, so I'm able to put storage underneath. And then I decided to put up some shelves to put some pictures. Obviously, I'm not going to keep these right now, but later on, I will change them out. I decided to clean up before giving you guys the big reveal. And this is what it looks like. It looks so much better than before, but make sure you guys stick around for part two because there's a lot more work to be done and I can't wait to show you. If you're trying to make your room look better, I got the answer for you inside this box. Nanoleaf said they were going to spoil me and they did not let me down. We're only going to put the shapes up today and these were extremely easy to put up. All you have to do is put the adhesive on the panels, use the connectors to connect them, and then put them on the wall. Plug them in and now you have a really, really, really nice looking wall. And these lights have a bunch of different scenes and presets that you can use or you can actually make your own. I still got to put up the Nanoleaf lines and I'm thinking about putting them right here, but for now, what do you guys think about these lights because I think they're amazing. I'm bored of my room, so I think it's time for a change. I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. I'm gonna start the transformation process. So this is me just prepping to remove the wallpaper that's peeling. Gonna be honest, I wore socks because I was scared people would screenshot my feet. Anyways, I was just peeling the wallpaper and the extra sticky stuff behind the wallpaper. Honestly, I'm glad we didn't hire anyone to remove the wallpaper because one, it was fun, two, it was easy. I couldn't think of a third reason. I already had a vision of how I wanted the room to look like um, because it was already green and very warm, but I'm just missing some things. So now that I removed the wallpaper, I got a painting consultation and I started to look for paint colors and other options. And I did some drawings on my iPad to see how it would look like. It's really not that bad. It just needs a little <laughs> shaping. <laughs> to the salon! and basically so what happened is my stepmom's having a baby and they moved my room downstairs which I'm fine with it's actually bigger believe it or not than my actual bedroom and now I get a closet so even though this closet is full of junk that I'm gonna have to empty out and clean up uh whatever um so I'm gonna have to paint my new room I got this stupid ass sandpaper um I'm pretty sure I got the wrong kind because I've been sanding forever and literally it's not working um <laughs> <laughs> and then it didn't help because the guys that like they hired to like my parents hired to like make the room they made it a mess and now i'm gonna have to freaking fix this so um come with me on my stupid ass journey thanks also there's no light <laughs> Okay, so y'all remember I told y'all I got two bonus babies from my last relationship. Well, we were together for 12 years. And when I tell you, when you with somebody that long and they have children, you build a relationship with the children outside of the person that you're with. So yes, even though me and him are not together, I am still locked in with these girls forever. So my mama and my youngest are like best friends. And when I did my mom's room, she took a picture and sent it to my youngest. And she was like, oh, why she can't do the room at daddy house? And I was like, fuck. So I texted my ex and I was like, 
like, hey, can I redo that room? He like, shit, I don't care. So I had told him I was thinking about doing bunk beds, but he like, neither one of them want to be on top. So I'm like, well, fuck it. I'm not about to spend hella on a damn headboard. So my Bob the Builder ass said, I'm going to make one. So I did that. I made these headboards. I don't know if y'all seen them in the video earlier, but they are so fucking cute and cheap. And I listen, a kid can mess it up and I will be perfectly fine with that. Because we all know kids like to write on shit. They ain't got no business writing on. So everything in the room is from Walmart, Dollar Tree, Gabe's, and Burlington. In total, I spent about $200, which I don't feel like is bad because it's a room for two girls. And y'all, it, it's so cute to me. Like, it's, it's such a vibe. Now, I know this whole move was a complete adjustment for both of them because they both went from having their own room to having to share one, which is okay. But hell, what sure you said that one night? I'll do the best I can for what I got. It's really not that bad. It just needs a little <laughs> shaping. <laughs> to the salon! <laughs> Transforming my extra room in my house. Watch me do my mirror wall. I had to order more mirrors. My friend came to help. All done. My 14-year-old daughter is the last of my kids to get a bedroom makeover. I had her pin rooms she likes so I could design around that. She likes kind of a magic cottage or a vintage historic with a touch of glam. I decided to start by building a desk since she is doing all virtual school right now. I used an old Ikea dresser and had her help me take it apart. Oakley helped too. I cut a long piece to use as the top and then spray painted new hardware gold for that glam touch. I also spray painted the drawer fronts and top white and I cut pieces to create a leg for the other side of the desk and also painted that gold. We have a lot more projects coming up, so stay tuned this week.